Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. From today onwards, we will start SQL, which is a structured query long ways. This long ways is very, very useful for the students who are studying BTEC and also working in software industry. So I sincerely request everyone to watch all the videos in sequence. In this video, I want to discuss about the basics of SQL. First, let me define what is a SQL. SQL is a structured query long ways, which is used to create, maintain, and retrieve the data from relational database. So SQL is useful for you to create, maintain, and retrieve the, retrieve the data from relational databases. Then you can ask me, sir, what is the relational database? Relational database means the data is stored as well as retrieved in the form of tables. You will have a tables in the relational database. You will have the table. So you will either store or retrieve the data in the form of tables. And you can ask me, sir, you are saying SQL is a structured query long ways, which is useful for us to create, maintain and retrieve the data from the relational databases. Now, can you tell me a few relational databases? Yes, I can do it. One is MySQL is there and another one is Oracle is there and even you will have the SQL server is there and then you have the post post okay all these are the relational database then you can ask me sir which relational database you will teach in this course we will discuss about the oracle okay so all the concepts related to sql we will discuss with respect to the oracle then you can ask me sir what is the difference between the mysql and oracle the concepts are same but only the syntax will be little bit different okay if you know the oracle sql you can easily understand the mysql similarly if you know the mysql you can easily learn the oracle sql now let me discuss about few concepts related to the sql sql is not case sensitive or i can say it is case insensitive okay so if you talk about the c programming java python all they are case sensitive means like if you provide a variable let's take that int a is equal to 10 okay and another variable you have provided as capital A is equal to 20. Now these two variables are different. Similarly, you have provided the data type int in lower case. If you provide in capital letters, it will give an error. So what are the things you need to provide in the lower case? You need to provide in the lower case. What are the things which you need to provide in the upper case? You can provide in the upper case. Okay, so I can say C, Java, all these are case sense to long ways but when it comes to the sql it is not case sense to okay but however it is recommended it is recommended in one way what is that way we will discuss now it is recommended to use commands like commands like select okay update create like we will use the several commands okay because sql you will write the queries in the queries you will write the select statement you will write the update statement you will create a table okay or you will delete the elements or the rows from the a table all these things we will do so these statements you need to provide in capital letters okay in capital letters then you can ask me sir what we need to provide in the lower case and user defined things like table name column name etc should be named there in the small letter so like select update all the commands should be there in the upper case and the table name okay the column names 
all these things should be there in the lower case so this is the recommended it is not compulsory okay you can keep the table name in the upper case or you can write the select command all these things in the lower case so it is just recommended it is not compulsory so as i said sql is for relational databases and you have non relational databases also okay we can call them as no sql like we have the database called mangodb okay dynom db etc they does not use the sql whereas mysql oracle sql postgre all these things uses the sql okay already i have discussed about the relational database relational database means the data is stored as well as retrieved in the form of tables now we will discuss few basics concepts related to the relational database like we'll talk about few terminologies okay first one let me talk about attribute okay what is the attribute attribute defines the properties of a relation suppose if i say a human being okay for a human being we have certain properties like uh, what is his height what is his name okay what is his gender what is his age okay which city he is staying which country he is living all these are the attributes similarly if i talk about a student a student will have the roll number student will have the name year which year he is studying suppose he is a btec first year or second year third year suppose he is a uh, studying school then which class he is studying what is his age if he is studying particular subjects what is the marks he is secured what is his father name mother name okay all these things we can call it as a property so those properties technically in relational database will call it as an attribute so attributes are the properties okay are the properties that define a relation that define a relation okay so now you can ask me sir what are the examples for the attribute like you have the roll number okay name all these things will call it as an attribute then what is a tuple tuple is nothing but a, a row each row each row in the relation is known as a tuple as i said in relational database all the data is stored and retrieved in the form of a table suppose if i say a table table will have the columns and the rows so the columns are nothing but the attributes okay the rows we will call it as a tuple suppose if i say i have a student table okay let me say i have a student table i said student will have certain attributes like roll number is there name is there okay his age is there his mother name is there okay and father name is there okay suppose roll number 1 his name is ravi okay age is 24 mother name is uh, like sandhya okay father name is let's take that rajesh let's take that there is another student whose roll number is 2 his name is let's take that rajesh his age is 23 his mother name is siri his father name is dravid okay now look at here this is one row this is another row so each row represents the information about a particular student so here one row we will call it as a tuple so how many tuples are there two tuples are there how many attributes are there five attributes are there such as roll number name is mother and father okay now let me discuss another important point here is degree what is the degree the number of attributes the number of attributes in the relation is called as or known as degree of the relation degree of the relation so what is a degree the number of attributes if you take the student table how many attributes are there five attributes are say so what is the degree of the student table the degree is five okay similarly we have another terminology called cardinality okay card nullity the cardinality represents the number of tuples the number of tuples in the 
relation is called as cardinality okay now if we talk about the earlier example how many rows are there or how many tuples are there two tuples are there or two rows are there so the cardinality of this table is two here okay so degree represents the number of attributes cardinality represents the number of tuples or the rows similarly we have column column is nothing but as i said each table will have the rows and columns suppose if i see the roll number is a one column name is one column is is one column then we can say it is also an attribute okay so column represents the set of values for a particular attribute okay suppose look at here the roll number what are the set of attributes are there one and two name ravi and rajesh is 24 23 so that is what we will call it as a column column represents the set of values for a particular attribute set of values for a particular attribute at that instance of time or at that instance meaning is that now look at here this table called student table right now you have the two rows okay but later the number of rows can increase or can decrease so at that instant the degree is 5 and the cardinality is 2 later the degree can vary and similarly the cardinality also can vary the SQL commands can broadly classified into four languages one is the first one we will call it as data definition language data definition language and the second one is data manipulation language okay and the third one is data query language and the fourth one is data control language if you talk about the data definition language what is the use of the data definition language it is used to define the structure of the database okay or a relation okay like how can you create the structure with the help of creating the table or you can add the columns or you can drop the columns okay meaning is that suppose look at here i have created a table called student already there are five attributes are there now if i want to add another attribute i should be in a position to add it so that also we can do it similarly if i want to remove a particular attribute suppose i don't want the is then i should remove that column so using these data definition language commands i can create the table or i can change the structure of the table by adding or dropping the columns let me write what are the generally the commands will come one is the create another one is add column okay or delete column or i can say drop column etc will come in this category okay now data manipulation language the name itself is saying we are manipulating the data okay how we can manipulate the data one is we can insert the data into the table we can delete the data and we can update it now you can ask me the doubt sir what is the difference between delete and update if i want to delete rajesh means i want to delete all the rows or the tuples where the name is rajesh then what are the tuples which are matching where the name is rajesh all the rows will be deleted okay but i want to change the rajesh is to 25 this is what we will call it as update you are updating the value delete means you are deleting the the row is it clear so i hope you have understood insert means you are inserting the new tuples whereas delete means you are deleting the existing tuples update means you are modifying the data okay so here the general commands will come is the one is the insert another one is the delete and another one is the update now what is the data query language it says query it is asking something what it is asking it is asking some data from the database okay so it is used to extract the data from the table or the relations one command is select using the select command we can retrieve the data from the relation or the table okay suppose i want to know 
whose student age is 24 then it will retrieve me the a name Ravi or if I ask find the roll number of the student whose father name is Rajesh then it will verify each row father name here Rajesh is matching so then it will give the roll number as one like that you can use the select command to retrieve the information from the table or relation then we have the data control language what is the use of data control language is it is useful for you to provide the access for retrieving or accessing the data okay like you have two commands one is the grant command and another one is the revoke command what is the use of these two commands let me discuss it for you first let me discuss about the grant command grant command allows specified user to perform the specified task suppose let's take that if you go to the SBA bank okay there will be lot of employees will be there everyone cannot access the entire data suppose if you say to the accountant i want to know my balance then he can tell you but if you ask him i want to uh, know the how many customers are there in this bank what is the uh, total balance is there or how many people have taken the loan all this information will not be available with him but if you ask the manager he can retrieve the information so each person will have certain privileges to access the data is it clear similarly if you talk about a uh, one engineering college where they have the portal now students can only view their attendance or view their results but students cannot modify the data if we provide they can modify the data then everyone will get the s grade and everyone will get the hundred percent attendance similarly a faculty can modify his own students data is it clear suppose i am teaching dbms for 120 students their attendance i can provide and their marks i can enter but i cannot enter the computer networks attendance computer networks marks but the hod can do it okay or he can view it similarly the dean academics can look at the entire institute all the students in all the departments okay like that we have the privileges so that uh, privileges can be provided with the help of the grant command if you want to withdraw something then you can use the revoke if you want to cancel previously granted permission or denied permission that you can do with the help of the revoke command i hope you have understood the basics of sql what is an sql okay what is the uh, relational database and what are the terminologies used in the relational database like attribute tuple degree cardinality column and then we have discussed about the various languages such as data definition language data manipulation language data query language data control language if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.